Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here for some more Dark Souls. I have spoken to Quilana of Yuzalith and gotten the spells that I need to get, so that's all taken care of here. Um, she's literally just like, when you go back up the stairs out of Quilog's area, where you can see the giants, closest pillar on the left, she's just sitting there. Once you get the pyramids, you plus ten, she just sits there. Um, I'll show you where she is when I get past the next section. I'm assuming I'm going to be good for the next section, at least. Um. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down the stairs. Those things better not fucking follow me. I should be good to leave those things behind. Yikes. Shit. Should have known this would be a thing. The walls are probably the biggest part about this that I'm doing right now. Come on. Uh. angle. That is honestly probably the worst part about this section right now. It's the angle of which... Those things are... Being blocked by the wall. Stop it. There we go. Now El Demonio, or the demon. Oh shit, do I gotta kill those firebugs again? I think I do. I think I do it to kill those firebugs. Or sunlight bugs, sunlight maggots. Yeah, there's still gonna be a thing. Cool. Besides, it's kind of a good thing that I had to kill these. Really? That missed? There you go. Although, also... Uh, item discovery. We may as well get some sunlight metals, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to use the sunlight metals to level up the sunlight covenant. Which, you know, it's fine, but... Red chunk. So there's four of them. I gotta make sure I get that crystal thing, too. No, you don't. I feel great whenever I kill those things. Okay, so now there's four of these. Yep. 
need bright spot. Well, if the bright spot is the sun, then sure. And I think that's all I would do on that. I think. Don't quote me on that. But apparently, if you don't kill off all of those little things, then. <sighs> Solaire doesn't stay Solaire. For lack of a better description. Come on. I hate these things so much. It's branches. Um, cool. So now I should be able to just go down the stairs. Are you kidding me? Is there another boss already? Also, am I human? That's the other question. No, I am not. Crap. So crap, I need to use... Well, at least I got a twin humanity. Light the bonfire. We should be able to reverse hollowing and then kindle, and that'll be good. Hooray! Hooray. Hmm. I don't know why I expected there to be items here, but I guess there's not. What's this? Oh, I can summon Night Solaire. Nice. This is great. I'm proud of this. Imminent strange creature, try a leg, imminent amazing ring. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Wait, that's the one that was hanging on the wall. I fucking called it too. In that previous video, I said that thing looks like it could wreck me, but it was hanging off of the wall at the uh, Demon Ruins bonfire. Guess what just happened? Something tells me I'm not going to like this battle. So there, you're going to die. Oh boy. Yep, so there, can you, um, attack? For the love of all those good holy. For the love of all that is fucking good and holy. So there, why are you just standing there getting fucking wrecked? Fuck you. Not okay. Can I warp? I wanna... I don't like this guy. I just don't like this guy.
Honestly, I probably shouldn't even warp back here. Let's just screw me up. <sighs> Guess we're going back down. Let me just double check something here. Summoning points, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know about those. On the bridge to Lost Easel is between the only respawning Titanite Demon and the Chaos Servant Door. That was also, like, the <sighs> absolute fucking worst that that battle could have ever been. Havel's gear wasn't enough. I'm assuming Havel's gear is, like, the gear. At least it seems to be the gear to wear. Strictly due to the high defensive nature of, like, everything about it. Wow. <laughs> God, those things are terrifying looking. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Oh shit, they have so much strength! This is not gonna end well. I didn't even see Solaire. Like, this this thing says he's gonna be on the bridge between. There's no Solaire here. Unless. Oh, uh, I think I might know where he is. Alright. It must be after I beat the Centipede Demon. Alright, let's reverse Halloween, I guess. Now, Centipede Demon, this is going to be a fun one. Just how the hell am I supposed to get... How? Slow tends to walk into love and die depending on the centipede's position. Blah, blah, blah. Cut off his long right arm. Okay. Well, that is good to know. There is so there. Uh. 
Now, before I do anything, I am putting the flame stone plate ring back on because I need to use it to block some fire damage. Now, Solaire, you better actually be of assistance. Target. There you go. All right, so there's the level. Shit. Would you get off the fucking lava? Jesus Christ. I fucking hate mechanics in this game where they move their arm and they drag you off the fucking map. Like, that is just not even fucking okay. Like, I hate fucking mechanics like that because they are so fucking big in this game. All the monsters in this game are ridiculously huge. And they can just go, meh, and just pull you off the map. Like, no. No. That's not okay. Some things are just not fair. That is one of them. And I need, apparently, the orange charred ring in order to... Oh, there's an item in there. In order to survive lava, but it's like... Great, I need to get a ring to survive lava, but I need to get it by surviving lava. Like, fuck off. That is one FromSoft mechanic that I hate in their games. In order to do this, you need to do it. And it's like, it's, a re it's recursive logic, basically. It's like saying in order to beat a enemy, you need a magic weapon, but in order to get the magic weapon, you need to beat the enemy that drops it. Like, it's the same thing. Which, ironically, actually is what happened in New Lotto Ruins, because the, uh, the Jagged Ghost Blade allows you to attack ghosts. Which is fine, except for the fact that you need to use a transient curse to attack the ghosts. So to attack the ghosts, you... To get the weapon to attack ghosts, you need to attack ghosts. And I fucking hate that shit. That's not even me being picky, that's just like... It's just unnecessary. It's like saying in order to save the blacksmith, you must first save the blacksmith. It's like, great, but... Also, by the way, I hate the fact that this... guide thing.
Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. There we go. Jagged Ghostblade. I think this might actually be the uh, Wii Upon of choice. Orange chart. Nice. Sorry, Solaire, that you had to die. But you're also a useless piece of shit, so I'm kind of glad that you died. Oh, just getting that out there. Cool. Optionally do some... Jolly co-op, nah. Okay, so I, th I think Jenga Ghostblade is probably going to be my weapon of choice when I go through the rest of the the, uh, the playthroughs. Because it seems like a lot of things have a bleeding weakness. At least as far as I can see. Cool. Now it says leave the boss area by the tunnel. By the way, I'm not entirely sure if I need to kill all of the uh, sunlight maggots to get the sunlight maggot item to save Solaire. Or... If, um... If I need to kill them and make sure they are, like, they are absolutely dead before... You know? Orange shard ring, where is it? Oh, that's a lot better. Oh, this would have been a nice place to fight off against the boss. That would have been a lot easier. Oh. If I could turn back time. I'm assuming that's the tunnel. That's all closed off. Nothing really up there, so we're going to the tunnel. Here, well. Hello, tunnel. Oh, so there you are here. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Can't find what? Why? After all this. And have the fun where I gotta use another command to level up the bonfire. So, great right plan. At least this time I am human, so that, that's a plus, I guess. Uh. Cool. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do next. But we're here. We're here. Lost Isolith, Isolith, whatever it's pronounced as. We're here. We're ready for the next section. We are ready to swear our tits off, but hoping that we don't have to. At least that's that's how I like to view it. We're, we're ready for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. It's kind of how you gotta view life. Otherwise, you're just gonna be actively disappointed. Prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. So that's my sage advice for y'all today.